Hi. I have another car, it's uh, the Lake District. We go straight in with it. Uh, uh, Crummock Water. And I'm going to use the usual palettes of lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, white red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and burnt sienna. Uh, Fabriano, 130 pounds. The, the paints I, I, I use, I've always used them, is uh, the Cotman 21mm tubes. It's a uh, Windsor and Newton. It's a good way to buy to buy them. They're fairly inexpensive, and, and because of that, you you're not scared to use a lot of colour. In the old days, we used to uh, use them straight from the tube on, the, on a, a much larger display tray, uh, tray than, than that one. And I used to use a lot of blocking for paper, the blocks they were all painting after on ransom. But Steve Cronin has uh, given me the idea for this, as you know. It's, a, it's, a, it's great, it makes it very portable as well. I shall be going to America in, uh, sometime in the near future and uh, I want to take a lot of gear with me, but it's got to be light. I can't take uh, oils and acrylics, it's just uh, too, diff too difficult. So. Uh, so there we are, I've got my copyright notice up there, I hope you can see it, or I hope anybody wants to pinch these videos, I'll be, be flattered, but uh, it does happen unfortunately. I'll just leave it the paper a bit. So on advice from a friend of one of my subscribers, a legal friend, I've uh, done this. Right, okay, put a sky in, uh, I'll put a, a, a background colour of, uh, of, burnt, of raw sienna, just to put a, some warmth in the, in, the, in, the, in the clouds and and the water. Okay, just keep the paper nice and nice and moist at this stage. Now a bit of blue. Good, good thick bit of blue and a bit of alizarin in that. The alizarin just kills the brilliance of that Ricketts blue look. A great demonstrator, um, Ray Campbell Smith used to say that. Um, just have that sweeping across there, a bit heavier than that, maybe in here. I can't come down too far with it because I'm going to put the, uh, the, the hills in the background. I've lost my bit of paper. I mean, my bit of cloth. Oh, here it is. <coughs> okay, now I want some, some heavier. Cloud. I'm going to use um, uh, Payne's Grey, a bit of Ultramarine, and some some of that lovely uh, Alizarin Crimson. Okay, this will be the uh, clouds coming over the cliffs of the hills, and I'll put some in here because that's going to be the reflections for the uh, for the lake. And I want it darker on the on one side here. So that's going to be like the reflection coming across from the, the hills behind. We well, always seem to paint reflections on these things in water, but mostly the wind ruffles the surface, <coughs> and um, <coughs> you can't see any ripples at all. So let's put in some. Uh, I'll put the background in first. This is Crummock Water, Melbury, Melbury, Cumbria. I'll put a bit of sienna. This is quite a indistinct. Well, so we've got that over there. Right, a bit darker there. Same clear colours, but it's got to register against <coughs> against the uh, 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 here. no detail in this here. It's quite 
indistinct. It's in the in the mist. Right, okay, let's get that into there. A bit darker on the lead, leading edge of that. And we've got a fainter hill behind that. Okay. No detail, just just tones in in this. That's, that's not gone quite well there. This is a bit darker on there. Right now we've got a nice big hill here. And this is the warmer colours coming into the siennas, the lemon yellows, a bit of alizarin, a bit of green. Some, some darks in there now. Birth Sienna. Right. That's that's dark on there. And we've got a nice bit of bit of dark on there. Using a really thick colour now on the hair. Let's get that shape on that little point there. Just put an edge, but no trees on this. This is like the, the undulations in the, the shape of that hill. And we've got quite a bit of that happening in there, but nice and warm and thick. Now let's get this, this in and this. No rocks, it's just grass covered here. Right, I'll just put some nice darks in, in the uh, in here. Try and get it to blend a little. See that's really standing out against the, the cloud. Bit of warmer sienna over that. And just a bit of brighter green in there. Okay, we'll get that dark yellow, blue, green, or light red. 
breakfast. A bit of darks in here, but a bit more blue. Okay, see what happens to that. That dries. Um, I've just, just got that straight across there. Well, the very little detail is showing in that. <coughs> We've come, crept down a little bit there. I'll lift that out when I'm ready, and that's dry. I'll just take the spare out of, out of, out of that. Yeah, that, that'll lift out. We clip it. <coughs> and I'll put in a foreground over that. So we've got, we've got some trees. We're looking out over over a lot of land here. So I'm going to put in the green, nice and greens and a bit of sienna. Let's uh, bit of blue in there. I've got a nice bit of uh, fern coming down here. No detail, just just an impression going into darker. Let's do some burnt umber in there. A bit of paint's grey. Well, it's a nice dark, isn't it? And I'll put in some some rocks, I think, in, in here. Look at that burnt umber going. Because I like that. That's good. And I'll sweep out just a little bit of detail there. Why not? <clears throat> just put a bit of. Um, perspective in that, it'll give you some idea of how big that foreground actually is. Right, that's it. And now we've let's go up with the uh, with these lovely ferns. Now I want to put some some trees on that, so I've burnt umber, I've burnt sienna. The paint's grey, ultramarine, sorry. Nice green. Trying to make a rich green here. That's a little tiny bit of water in there. I'll detail some of this. These are trees, just little smallish trees.
I get a, a more solid line on the base of those. to be solid otherwise if that's damp behind it'll get lost Dark, dark in here. Bit of a yellowy. And that's a bit of shadow in the base of that tree there. The trees. <coughs> Now it's got a bit of rigor work. <clears throat> Not that you, I can see much detail in what I'm copying from, but. Uh, but this just will save oak trees. It's just a little bit too thick. This, this is the old one, it comes to a much nicer point. This was even more used and lost a few hairs. You know what I mean? I'll just, just put these. got to dry this and, and get the, the, the there's still a, um, a broken reflection across here but it's the, no detail it's just a just a shade but I need to clean clean that out first so I'll just get this finished here then I'll dry it bone dry Give it a dry now. Hold your ears. brush and just 
clean that off there. Too straight, but some of the paint just felt just flooded down on that. Right, it's dry. Headphones off. And now this is a clever bit. Let's uh, no, clean water. Well, no, I don't need clean water. I'll, I'll just a bit of. Palette grey. Well, it's just a little bit too wet. Right. Nearly. Nearly done it. Dry. I've lost that, I had to put that in dark instead of light. Uh, just, just straighten up here. I'm going to really cheat now. I'm going to turn this into a mixed media. I'm going to use a bit of body colour on that. Put this other my my large palette. Um, I'm going to stipple. So I need some white. Got a nice stipple brush. Uh, on my sorry, I've disturbed my what's name. I've lost me white now. Oh, here we are. My white gouache. I need it to be. Oh, this is, must be 20 years old. This stuff. It's very, very stiff. <coughs> right. Let's uh, to go stippling. See what we come up with. So yellow. Bit of sienna. And a bit of white. catching the light so I'm just going to put this back because I lost it This is really cheating there. Yeah. So a bit of bit of bit of red in there, I think.
Deixa eu só pegar boa. Vamos ver. Catching ball, só no riso. Ok, I'll, I'll go after, I can't improve that. I'll dry it off, headphones off. And I'll just put a bit, bit of the rigor mortise detail in, in this. It's a nice dark. in a bit of a white boat. Give the perspective there. It's not my best one, I have to say. Let's uh, put it in a mount and we'll uh, have a look and see what we've done. There we are, Crumock Water, Cumbria. Uh, the idea was looking over, over the foreshore here. Instead of putting the usual beach, the beach is beyond this, obviously. I put some rocks in just to add a bit of detail to it. Uh, I think this is probably a bit too high. Anyway, it's, a, it's an impression of, of the Lake District. That's not, that's not too bad. Um, see what you think. Let's have a little. Whoops. Let's have a little zoom in. Well, it looks alright on the screen. They always look better on the screen than they do in in real life. I'll bring the camera around a little bit. Square on. So you get a better idea of what it's like. Well, there we are. No, that's not too bad. Don't know why I left that. But anyway, done now. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's zoom you in. Go around the picture, there are a couple of little yachty things I'll put in there. That's that tree I struggled with. I forgot to put, I got the tones wrong on the, on the water. And I should have put it in when it was wet. But anyway, they're, they're, they're the trees on the shoreline. And then just coming up to distant hills. A bit too big, I think. But it was that. So I'm not too displeased with it. I'll upload it and you can tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.